it's time to compare these two monster truck kits. Which one will end up on top? Let's find out. Rich here from the rcnetwork.com and this is going to be my comparison video between the Techno MT410 and the S-Works Zeus. Now to my knowledge these are the only two monster truck kits available on the market. Now of course I'm talking about one eight scale four wheel drive monster trucks that you have to put together, outfit with electronics and of course supply some other items like wheels and tires and another one also needs a body. So in this video we're going to be breaking breaking down both of these monster trucks. We're gonna be going over positives and negatives that I've seen over the ownership over about a year, year and a half now on these units. The Techno, of course, I've had since December of 2016, and the S-Works I've had for about a few months now, running it and driving it and learning more about it. Now with that, we will be going over lots of information during this video, but I'll try and have links to any items that I may talk about down in the video description, so definitely check that out if you want more information. Now, of course, Techno and S-Works are definitely known for their race vehicles. In fact, that's pretty much all they do. They build race kits, they have race teams, and they compete across the world. Now, of course, the basher market is huge, and that's where these companies make a lot of money. So it's definitely no incident that they're diving into these markets to get us, the bashers out there, some cool vehicles that are very durable, highly upgraded, and super adjustable. Now, here's what both of these are. These are both 1.8 scale. Now, I know that Techno marketed the MT410 as a 1.10 scale, but if you really look at the specs, look at what it outfits as far as electronics, this is truly an 8 scale vehicle. So, both 8 scale, both are kit versions, so you do have to put them together. You'll have to break out the wrenches, the Loctite, the oils, and everything else, and actually physically put these vehicles together. You will have to outfit them with electronics, wheels and tires, and the S-Works does come with a body and wing, however the Techno does not. Some of the other similarities is they both have 17 millimeter wheel hexes. They have 17 millimeter-ish shocks, although the S-Works is slightly smaller. They both take 1.8 scale electronics that run on ideally 4S to 6S LiPo power. Now their drive lines are both very similar, having all of the electronics on one side and the battery on the other to balance everything out. They even follow the same pecking order of servo, ESC, and motor down the left side of the vehicle. Both of these vehicles run on three fluid filled geared differentials, both front, center, and rear. And the center differentials are set way back on the vehicles on both of these. Now where the differences come into play, of course, like I mentioned earlier, the Techno does not include a body. However, the S-Works does. Also the body and the wing. The Techno runs the front suspension system on a caster block and knuckle system where the S-Works uses pivot ball suspension. And finally, as far as if you measure out my real world vehicles here, the MT410 is one inch wider and the Zeus is about a half inch longer in wheelbase. Diving deeper into the S-Works Zeus, let's talk about some of the negatives that I don't like about the vehicle. Now, the first thing is right in front of you, I think the S-Works has some gender ID issues. Doesn't know if it's a shortened truggy or if it's a monster truck. It's labeled as a monster truck, but it doesn't really look like one. Of course, it has that truggy body, the truggy wing, doesn't really have that monster truck look. Now, as I shown in the reveal video of this vehicle, it did have some issues in the instructions. Now, not sure if it just didn't translate well enough for me coming from German over to English in the owner's manual, but I did have a couple of bobbles with the instructions, but it all got together in the end. One of the last big negatives were some of the component mounting systems that the S-Works Zeus uses. Now, I've already said it before, but I actually hate this motor mount. This motor mount is actually all one piece right here, mounts directly to the chassis, 
And the only way to adjust the pinion mesh is to come in from the far rear all the way in to these bolts right here to adjust the pinion mesh. So it's a little bit tricky. I guess you can break out the old L-shaped Allen wrenches, which other people have recommended for me and adjust it that way. But if you don't have a super long hex wrench, you're just never gonna be able to adjust it appropriately. Now, the next thing is the servo mount here. It mounts upright and it's just slightly awkward. Um, you do see this thing flexing quite a bit. And then finally, the actual radio box mounts over here on the side and there's some flexibility here to these little side wings that come off the chassis, which are plastic. This is all part of that side wing and it, it kind of encloses the ESC. You can't get to the ESC. I mean, it's like putting your hands around the ESC and not being able to get to it. It's just, you know, you have servo, radio box, motor, ESC is housed in here in the center. Just tough to get to, especially with the wiring and everything else. You'll see that a wire actually fell off of here from a previous running video. The last negative with the s works Zeus is of course the part support. Now this is a European based company. I'm based in the US. Pretty much the only place you can find parts for this are on eBay or Amain Hobbies. That's it. I haven't seen any S-Works products in any local hobby shops. They're just kind of tough to get a hold of. So when I did have one breakage, I did have to order from Amain, came on a big parts tree, and had to wait several days to get that part in. Dialing it over to positives. Now, there was quite a few positives with the S-Works Zeus. The first thing that stands out just screams quality are the S-Works shocks. They did not skimp on these shocks at all. Although this is targeted for the basher audience, they took pretty much their race level shock, dropped it straight onto this vehicle. It includes pretty large bore shocks, although these are slightly smaller than the MT410s. And you do have aluminum shock caps, you have dust boots, and I mean, it, it really screams quality throughout the shocks. Next are the arm designs. It uses a monocoque design where it actually has a plate that rides on top of the arm just to strengthen the arm and create a little bit of flex, but also a very rigid arm and increases the durability. You have it not only in the rears, but also in the fronts up here. Although these are somewhat triangular because they are pivot ball suspension arms, uh, they do provide a good amount of durability. One big positive on the s Zeus is that it's a wide chassis design. It's based on an older designed buggy, but it gives a huge amount of stability when you're out on the straights and in the turns. This thing is very stable, and I've gotta say it was very easy Easy to drive. Although I am not a huge fan of pivot ball designs, this design worked very nice and it didn't become that squeaky suspension system I found in other RTRs that are on the market. Now, of course, this is a kit. This will have a little bit better quality components making up that suspension system, but I've got to say, I did really like this pivot ball suspension. Diving deeper into the Techno MT410, let's take a look at some of the negatives I found on this vehicle. Now, the first thing that kind of stood out on the shock package was it uses plastic shock caps. Now, I've never had a failure on these caps, but but it's always nice to know to have that peace of mind of having an aluminum cap. Now they are available from Techno and you can upgrade it, but it'd be nice to have in a premium kit like the MT410 is having those aluminum shock caps. One negative on the MT410 is the narrowness of the chassis. Now, although it doesn't affect the performance at all, it makes it a little bit easier to manipulate when it's in air, but the narrowness of the chassis really kind of constricts the electronics you can drop into this thing. Now I did happen to shoehorn in a truggy size motor, but it is very difficult. And if you have any ESC that's larger than the Tekken RX-8, it'll be tough to fit in. The last negative that I had to scratch my head for on the MT410 were the bumpers. Now Techno basically took the SCT bumpers and just dropped it onto this monster truck. And although that they're very functional and they actually work and they help you when you're driving around and hitting things, they don't quite look appropriate for a monster truck. It would have been nice if Techno kind of designed a ground up design for the MT410 just to make it stand alone from other monster trucks and SCTs on the market. Switching over to the positives of the MT410, I love the streamlined chassis. This chassis is absolutely 
absolutely beautiful. And I, I love the fact that Technos parts are all compatible. So if you wanted to lengthen this chassis and make it a truggy length, it's pretty easy to do. You can buy the chassis plate, the rear drive shaft, and a couple other bits and pieces, and basically have a long base monster truck. It'll make it a little bit different ride and definitely more stable. Durability of the MT410 and Techno in general is off the charts. The front arms right here, these are almost a half inch thick plastic. They're gusseted throughout. And I mean, these things just give a, a small glimpse into all the durability that's built into Techno products. I mean, these things are just large and in charge. Once you select the body and wheels and tires for your MT410, it actually looks like a monster truck. Right here I have the F-150 Ford Raptor on there from Proline, and it just looks the part. It doesn't have a wing or kind of that truggy body like the S-Rex does. The overall suspension package on the MT-410 is super plush. The shocks are large, they're long, everything works well in this monster truck and i've got to say the most plush suspension i've seen to date finally one of the biggest positives of the techno mt410 is it does have true parts support you can find parts in local hobby shops because a lot of the parts that you see on this cross over from other vehicles including the buggy the eb48 and also the truggy the et48 so lots of parts are compatible and you can find them readily available in hobby shops and online so how do they drive the most important question of the day now looking at the mt410 the suspension is great i outfitted it pretty well with a 2000 kv truggy motor made it up to that rx8 gen 2 Plenty of power with the servo as well. And this thing definitely handles anything I could throw to it. Now, I was easily able to manipulate the MT410 doing front flips and back flips and all sorts of things in the air. This thing has definitely a stunt pedigree with the shortened chassis, the buggy chassis, but then the long arms of the truggy. So this thing can definitely move around and it's super wide, so it's pretty hard to flip over. The S-Works, on the other hand, was just as plush as the Techno. It handled pretty much everything. It seemed a little bit more stable, especially in flight. It didn't have as much maneuverability, probably because of the wide chassis. And I was able to really flip this thing around and, and, and get it doing some things that I haven't done with other vehicles before. I outfitted it pretty well with a 1900 kV motor. It was the Hobby Wing with the XR8 Plus speed control. Had plenty of power with the steering as well. This thing was just definitely a rocket. It seemed almost overgeared with very conservative gearing. Finally, this thing definitely soars. It was like an eagle soaring through the air when it launched on the jumps. It could definitely handle anything I threw at it and it was a pleasure to drive. Now you may ask yourself, why spend so much money on one of these kits, either the Techno or the S-Works? And here's kind of my reasons why this is gonna be so much better and a better value in the long run versus some of like the $500 RTRs on the market that may look quite similar to these, but definitely don't have the performance of the Techno or the S-Works. First of all, these two kits come from racing companies. They know how to race. They know how to set up chassis to give you the best driving performance. And I've got to say, you actually get a lot of good quality parts in these kits. The first thing, you actually get to put it together. It's a lost art in RC, and I think there's been too many RTRs available out there that just give you that instant gratification, but don't really buy you into the hobby. The Techno and the S-Works, definitely give you that buy-in into the hobby. Now with that, you also get some race quality components. You're not gonna get any stamped aluminum or any kind of cheesy steel inside of these kits. You're gonna get machined aluminum and even some sprinkling of some carbon fiber like we saw in the S-Works. Finally, these two platforms are super adjustable. A lot of the RTRs in the market quote that they're kind of adjustable, but when you really get down to the geometry of everything, these two kits are far superior as far as adjustability and being able to adapt to almost any track condition out there. All right, so which one is my pick for the best monster truck kit 
one eight scale four wheel drive. I've got to say I'm definitely favorited towards the Techno. It was my first monster truck kit and I got to say it, it looks like a monster truck. I can't get over the fact that the S-Works comes with like a truggy body and a wing. I don't like the wing. I, I've never liked wings on monster trucks and I think that the Techno definitely looks the part. As far as performance, they're very close. I have to say that the Techno is set up better out of the box and it also gives you some pretty cool items just to get everything bolted into the chassis. Has a great motor plate, great servo mount. The radio box is easy to access unlike the S-Works, and I think I pointed those things out earlier in this video. Besides that, it comes down to what you're willing to spend your hard money on. I've gotta say, it's techno for me. Some people may sway towards S-Works. It's a great car, don't get me wrong, they both drive great, they both look great if you can get past the shrugginess of the S-Works. Well guys, that is it. That is my comparison video of the Techno MT410 and the S-Works Zeus. I think you can't go wrong with either one of these, both great monster trucks. And I hope I have provided you guys some pretty good information so you can make the best decision when you're either shopping at your local hobby shop, shopping online or wherever you shop to find these beautifully engineered items. Well guys, that is it for now. If you have any comments or questions about these items, feel free to post it on down below. And as always, thumbs up and subscribe. That's it for now, guys. Over now.